Hey everyone, today I'm hanging out in the cartel market area of the fleet and there's something interesting on the cartel market right now. It is called the First Grand Acquisition Pack and it's kind of a mishmash of a couple different packs that are all related and you supposedly get um, a bronze bonus item with a chance of silver or better and one bronze complete armor set with a chance of silver or better. So it's supposedly kind of a best of kind of pack, but I'm not entirely sure what's in here. An icon, I see uh, one of my favorite red sensuous armor sets, um, some Thanavesh armor, a Revan set, that triumvirate armor from Knights of Old Republic. But other than that, I really don't know what's in it and I haven't seen any really good lists either. So. Let's open these up. They cost a thousand cartel coins, so they are not cheap. They're way, way more than just a normal cartel back by itself. And I decided just to buy 15, and we'll see what's inside of them. So we got an expert fighter armor set. That probably looks pretty cool. Not one of the rarest ones though, it's just silver. A major flashlight <laughs> Okay. And a Savannah Nakar cat. Uh oh, it's just a pet. <laughs> Classic Phantom Armor set. That's kind of a cool set. It's definitely an older looking one though. Uh oh, our crystal was our special one. Hmm. Either. So far, not the greatest packs, but we've got some more to do, so I guess we'll see what we get. Slow clap? Sure. Elegant loungewear armor set. Oh, this used to be one of my friend's favorite armor. Oh gosh. One of the dancer outfits. Formal tuxedo armor set. Oh, I got that out of a chance cube once. Uh, I'm kind of starting to regret this purchase. I should have bought just like five to see what was in them first. And as I say this, I get one of my favorite sets in the game. Oh, this is a really nice set. We'll take a look at them. Uh, let's see. Is this saying we have 10 left or oh gosh we do? Let's just pause for a second here. There is some really cool armors I want to show you guys. So this is relaxed vestments and we'll come up in collections. And this is actually one if you guys watch the how to get cool armor academy video. This is the one I was showing at the very beginning. Relaxed. It's kind of a tatooine armor. It's a really pretty set all together. It's um, it's kind of hard to see in the preview, but the the wraps have like kind of some runes on them, and the gloves are really nice, kind of fighter set. I I like that it's a combo of being kind of a more revealing outfit, but also it's not super sexy. It's just meant to be like, I don't feel like sweltering in the Tatooine sun, but I definitely need some sunscreen for sure. And let's check out that Phantom set. They, they basically, in the olden days, they would often mess up the cartel packs, and this is the way it was supposed to look, but this is what actually came out of the pack, so they re-released re it later with the proper stuff. But this set's actually pretty nice. The, the chest piece I like a lot, very simple, but with lots of detail on it. It'd be great for, say, an, an agent or maybe even a Sith Inquisitor, and, and that helmet is, is pretty cool if, it's, if you're into characters that don't show their face at all. Sith Warrior could use a Sith Inquisitor, maybe an agent, super sneaky agent. Let's see, expert fighter. There's a lot of these kind of brawler sets around. I don't really don't really dig them, but it'd be great for any character who who's a battle type character. I could definitely see this on, say, like a Jedi Knight. If it was a female Jedi Knight, definitely not though. That would not stay on in battle. <laughs> Okay, here is some for reals revealing armor. This is not one of my favorite sets. Oh, it only has three pieces. Apparently just the top, bottom, and the helmet. We'll just keep these uh, boots. Yeah, and, the, and my giant trooper gloves. Obviously the helmet is a, 
bit of a throwaway, but um, the top has really pretty colors. I just don't really... I find it really weird that these shoulder pieces come from another formal set. It's like they just slapped them onto the bikini and said, good enough. If you're looking for a dancer's outfit, that'd be pretty good. I've seen lots of like Jedi sages wearing outfits kind of like that. Formal tuxedo. Oh yeah, just another one of the- this isn't actually the one we got, but similar. Similar enough to this one that it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see if we actually got anything else good. We got 10 more packs to go. I'm super tempted to just sell these straight on the GTN so far. But for you guys, for you guys to see what's in here, let's keep going. Forward Recon Armor Set. Oh, that is a really nice set. I'll vote some more before we look straight into it. I was so sad. I used that armor set on a character and then regretted it later. Regal Apparel Armor Set. This one's actually really pretty. <laughs> C2 and 2 customization butler. Charged Peacemaker's Armor Set. It's a very not rare set, but it does have some animation, which is cool. Frog dog hot ball uniform. Remember, this this cartel pack was a thousand cartel coins. Oh, really gonna say no to this pack. Really regretting it. Mantellian. This one is garbage sets. Really? Oh, I wish I'd known more about what was in there. But let me show you that forward recon one before we before we move on, because that one's actually really nice. Oh, my poor UI is too small. I, I like that it's a trooper set, but it's also fairly flat, sleek. Definitely great for a smaller character. It's another one of those ones that uh, was messed up on the original. And this is what it looks like. I like the chest piece of this. It reminds me of um, the in the trooper story, the lady, Wraith, um, on the original Havoc Squad, little green lady. Okay, five more to go. Let's see if it's worth it at all. White crystal is worth a ton of credits. This outfit is worth almost no credits. Xantha is a cool emote. What the heck? We have the frog dog away and home uniform. Those are also worth so little. <sighs> not, not having a lot of luck. We're almost done here. Just let me leave in my misery. Red blades armor set. Kind of cool. Kind of okay rifle. Relaxed jumpsuit. That's another really nice set. That one is uh, similar to the brown one except red and black. And another relaxed jumpsuit. Well, that's it. I'll show you that relaxed jumpsuit before you go, but in general, if I if I would advise you to buy or not buy these packs, definitely would say no. They're, they don't seem to have anything special except for having the whole armor rather than bits and pieces of kind of lots of bronze armors. Lots of ones before they started getting really good at designing on the cartel market. Like obviously some of the sets like there's the original Revan set is really nice but <sighs> lots of frog dog uniforms. <laughs> and this is that relaxed set. I actually like that one quite a bit. Uh, not one I'd wear on my characters but just a really really good set. A very cool set. It's This one's got straps so you don't have to worry about it coming off. <laughs> okay um yeah so, first grand acquisition pack, <laughs> nope, uh, Vigilant pack is the other one that's out right now and that one's actually pretty okay. See you guys later!